It's so quiet and peaceful when it snows, but why is that? Well, it turns out snow has a lot in common with this acoustic foam. If you've ever had upstairs neighbors, you know that sound travels really well through hardwood floors and ceiling beams. The softest footsteps can sound like a herd of buffalo, but sound does not travel particularly well through porous materials like this acoustic foam or fresh snow. Snow is not especially dense, at least not at first. As a rule of thumb, one inch of rain is the same amount of water as 10 inches of snow. There is a lot of empty space in snow, which makes it a great insulator against sounds. When snow is falling, it absorbs sounds that would normally carry through the air. Each snowflake causes a tiny bit of diffraction that scatters sounds, and causes each sound to lose a tiny bit of energy. Hundreds of thousands of snowflakes compound the effect to make a quiet, peaceful scene. Well, why then doesn't rain have the same effect? Well, it kind of does. You may notice it's hard to hear faraway sounds when it's raining, but that isn't the main reason. Raindrops each have a lot more mass than snowflakes, so they make a much greater impact when they hit the ground. These impacts generate enough noise to drown out softer or more distant sounds. Ice, on the other hand, treats sound entirely differently than snow, even though they are both just frozen water. Because ice is solid and dense, sound can travel a long way through this medium. Ice also reflects sounds, contributing to a noisier overall environment. If you've learned something from this episode, consider sharing it with a friend, or consider subscribing for more videos about audio tips, lessons, and gear.